Hi, this is Bigger here. This is the end of day two of the league. Um, I have actually haven't been really playing that much, to be frank. Um, that's why I'm only level 86. I'm usually about 90 plus on the end of second day. Uh, but how do I explain this? I've been finding this league a little boring, <laughs> to be frank. Um, the league mechanic feels kind of meh. And I don't think there's a lot of, like, I don't think there's a huge meta defining shifts uh, in the current patch. It, like frankly speaking like even with the tattoos and everything uh, a lot of the new meta sh sh shake ups is only going to come after people get access to uh, a lot more of the drops from this particular league mechanic and um, at the same time the league mechanic doesn't feel like it's worthwhile doing as much it is not bad to be frank but I think if you just out and go you're pretty much getting more currency out of it so like you know all these tattoos are like one siege because so it's so common i guess uh there are definitely tattoos that you you can get a crap ton of money for but um to get to the point where you get those it requires you to like sink a shit amount of time into it anyway uh let's touch on the build right now where it's at and what i'm currently doing i'm currently doing like t8s t9s i'm just clearing my yellows at the moment uh, I don't think I have the damage for reds until I get a heat shiver. Uh, I, I probably could push into reds with heat shiver, but it will feel a little slower than I would generally prefer. Um, but yeah, let me just briefly talk about the scaling of it for now. Altogether, this build is currently about like 35 chaos in or something. It's not, it's really cheap to be frank. Um, you can get all of these pieces for like even cheaper now because I'm pretty sure some of them are like dirt cheap. This one is like, it's free basically. You can get it for one elk or something. Uh, this is like, you can buy the two different belts, the famine bind and feast, uh, bind and, and a fusing and it will cost you less than a chaos. Um, the only thing is a plus five aura, uh, much legion, but pretty, I'm pretty sure right now these are like less than five chaos to be frank. Uh, this cost me less than five chaos but i'm pretty sure now it's like two or three chaos um this was like two chaos five chaos this was no this was three chaos sorry this was five chaos this was like one elk and this was like i think three elks or something and this was like one chaos so everything here is super cheap the only thing i've been really been spending money on is like <laughs> i've been buying two percent max life tattoos because i feel like these are like uh What's the term for it? Uh, the outliers. Uh, I, I would definitely trade off 10 stats away for 2% life, especially when I get the Wrath Pith out. Um, I might also consider getting a Kadiro, or Kaspiro, sorry. So a Supreme Ostentation somewhere. And then with that Supreme Ostentation, I will be able to, in the sense, um, just stack a shit ton of like life nodes, percentage life nodes on my uh, stats instead. Um, I am also looking out for upgrades so as you can tell i have like uh, you can consider this like three or four divines i guess uh total i probably need to change the divines to be frank i need to do that earlier uh, but yeah i actually had another divine but uh i have this right now i'm planning to use this for my next build i put it out for 10 divs just for fun but uh, i'm probably not going to sell this uh but yeah this is the divergent trauma support uh, the thing i was pogging up out for um I'm not sure exactly what skill I want to use of this, but I'm pr I'm leaning towards a flicker strike setup. All right, because um I think flicker strike is probably the only uh skill where you can run multi strike and you don't feel bad about it. Like you can run multi strike and you not feel bad about um using it because flicker strikes attacks are so fast that even if you put multi strike, you're still gonna pretty much get a crap ton of trauma stacks. And then the multi strike is going to get it, allow you to self sustain frenzy charges. So I have to figure out a class for this, a sanity for this, and I might have to do a bit of tweaks here and there. But for now, what I'm looking at is flicker strike with diver trauma. Uh, and that will probably be the only thing I'm really interested in doing. Uh, this build is actually, <laughs> to be frank, uh, kind of boring me at now because I know exactly what I need to get for this to scale. And I know that the things I need to scale are expensive. And I don't have alternate uh, methods of scaling this uh, cheaply. So, yeah. 
So talk about the build as well. I've come here for the suppression. I'm getting max suppression here, becoming really tanky. So this build is really, really tanky compared to uh, from what I had lastly. Uh, difference is it doesn't have as much damage here because I don't have plus uh, nine on this. It's still only plus five. And I don't have my Shroud Lightless, which means no pen. And I don't have uh, uh, my Heat Shiver, which is another 100% or double damage, right, essentially. So once I get a Heat Shiver, my damage will double. Once I get the Shroud, my damage will probably go up by about 50 to 60%. Uh, yeah, and once I get this, it'll be another 40% more. So lo loads of multipliers available. I just don't have access to it because everything's expensive right now. And if I get a Wrath Pit, the Wrath Pit's another like 80 percent 60 70 wait actually it's 80 yeah 80 percent more damage yeah well to get there will take time uh i'm not sure if i really want to do that or i might just do a, a a build swap but for now this will probably push me to early high yellows early reds probably where i'll start to see my damage fall off once i get the heat shiver i think i will be able to sit at early reds for a while and then push to maybe high reds once i get a shroud or something um that's if i want to continue with this we'll see <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, I've been doing a bit of, what's it called again? Trial the Ancestors. I'm at 218 right now. Is it? Was it 218? Or 220 something uh, rank. Not that high, but uh, I, I do feel that Ice Mine was a good choice for Trial. Uh, even though Trial is like kind of mad now that I think about it. Um, it's a good choice because uh, the screen white uh, projectiles basically allows you to interrupt uh, them from capturing your shrines or your totems. Yeah. So you can play de defense and just let your uh, rest of your team do full offense, yeah. Uh, I haven't really gone the Sanctum. I did the trial one. I got to like floor two and I fucked up, but I haven't really played Sanctum long one. The rares kind of caught me off guard, but then again, my damage also is kind of lacking at the moment, so I should have just waited. <laughs> anyway, um, probably will keep pushing this um, and getting my Atlas up. I can show you my Atlas and what my strategy is. Um, I'm going for a Wandering Path strategy, just getting quant uh, map drops and higher tier maps. Uh, I will probably path uh, here as well to get the higher tier maps here. I will also probably like get Harvest, so I'm doing Harvest right now as well, just to get uh, a juice so I can sell later in bulk. Um, so I'll probably max out the Harvest ones, get the uh, higher tier map nodes, get the rest of the quant nodes. Uh, and just wandering path my way through uh, Elk can go, very simple Elk can go strategy without having to do much um, <clears throat> Probably should get stream of consciousness as well Yeah And then I'll probably get all the gateways, I don't know I'll see if I can use a, a map crafting op option Yeah Anyway, so this is pretty much all there is to it I can do maybe a bit of a uh, run Anyway, I need to clear these What is precinct again? I can't remember. Oh yeah, there's the the map with a lot of the boss mobs. Is it? Oh, yeah. the lyric. The other tanky because uh, you have like decent amount of evasion. You have near max attack block, forty five percent spell block. Uh, Decent amount of armor, not like amazing, but still decent. And uh, what is this a dead end? And you're really, really fast actually. Because of gathering winds and all the movement speed. I'm gonna pop that Legion over there. Should I pop the Cassia first, should I? As you can tell, my damage is not that good yet. Could get better. Oh yeah. Hope to definitely fix the damage soon. Obviously, I have to buy a heat shiver, but I do not want to spend like 50 fucking chaos for it. I'm pretty sure, like. Let's be sensible, right? Let I'm pretty sure um, these bloody things, uh, like 
Like a heat shiver is like what 20 kills at max. I'm just gonna hold on this button. Kinda AFK. Should be fine even with delirium. It's just a tier 7 map. Okay, I hope I'm fine. Okay, I should be fine. Normally maps are a lot faster. Just this is delirium, so I'm having damage problems since this is delirium. Okay. Vortex area effect. Eh. I mean, maybe someone wants it. But looks mad to me. I'm just gonna dump everything. I'm just too lazy to. Sort this shit out. <coughs> I haven't actually died for like I think since well since I finished uh, uh since I got into maps I think I haven't died once maybe I've died once just just once so builds like really really tanky oh this is dead end. I have my search on to uh, I have a life search for like a cheap hitch hitch ever, but some of them are, I think are just accidental or right? tree chaos. I'm not gonna bother pinging them. <sighs> Hopefully I can find my, like 20 to 30 chaos and I'll buy them, but right now I think they're like 40, 50. They were 80 at one point to be honest. That was such a mess though. Uh, hopefully they drop the 20 or 30 by tomorrow. Or maybe even lower and then I'll buy one. Pretty sure they'll drop to like 15 a week by week 2. See, damage is a little bit, a little to be desired. It's a little, a little bit low. Is this a level 19 gem? Yeah, it is. I'll try to vol it for 21 when I hit uh, 20 on it. <coughs>
there's all this to it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you're still running this build, it's it's good, it's still good. So take my word for it. It's good to play. I might not want to keep playing it because I'm like super bored right now, having played this like lastly. Has it cabins? Have I done that now? Oh nice. Maybe I can do another video or something. Like I can do another map. Yeah, I'll do another one. Cause this is a mine build. This build pretty much can do all map mods pretty comfortably. I said issues mostly damage. Chaos quantity items. Additional currency items. Rare weapon. I think the currency item one's the best. Oh wait, love books. Here we go. Not definitely not specced for any expedition shenanigans, but uh, that's okay. That's okay. Pretty sure if you if you were still selling at twenty five, it'll be sold already. I uh, moved away from the return projectile setup to back to chain. Uh, I do find that chain has a lot better coverage and uh, it just allows me to just map way faster. So Also because once I got the ascendancy and uh, my third lab, I didn't really need the uh, return projectiles anymore. Tell leveling is pretty fast because I don't die. But I just haven't been playing that much, to be honest. Not as much as the last league. <sighs> I'll probably take a break after this as well.
Alright, peace. See you guys. This is end of day two. Love to see you around. And uh, peace. Bye.